thank you, Jim, and, um, and thanks to the True Blue crew for inviting us all here. Um, I've got to say I'm really, really happy with the candidates who have put their hand up. There's 12 of them here today, ranging in ages from 20 to uh, who knows what. But, uh, <laughs> I'm only young, so. But um, the, uh, the thing is that uh, it's surprised us all that the amount of young people who have put their hands up, who have joined the party, who are helping out. Uh, I always thought we'd uh, maybe appeal to people from 45 to dead, but uh, as it happened, we've got all these young people who have put their hand up, and uh, that was a surprise. I think a lot of us, uh, my age group and others, thought that all the young people had no idea that they'd been indoctrinated by the socialist school teachers and um, also their uh, professors. But uh, look, I think there's a, a groundswell happening now in this country, uh, not unlike uh, what happened in Brexit and what happened with uh, in 2016. Uh, the silent majority are sick and tired of being silent. They're, uh, they're coming out of the woodwork. We're getting over our political correctness. We're calling it the way it is, and that is really encouraging, and we have to do more and more of that. Uh, I think you know what uh, our party stands for, you know, good Christian conservative values. Australians have had a gutful of uh, what they've had. Um, you know, the, the same three parties giving you the same three things the whole time. A left-wing party, a socialist party and a communist party running the country. And uh, one of the things that shocked me is Mr Morrison has moved so far to the left that he has decided to put uh, our party below Labor and the Greens. So uh, it just gives you a bit of an indication of where he uh, stands in this country and, uh, and how far left his party has moved. Uh, most of the, uh, uh, most of the uh, politicians down there are very, very left and uh, it's just sad to see that uh, a good cons what used to be a good Conservative party has uh, moved that far to the left. But the main thing is that uh, we're here, we're going to fight this battle and hopefully we can get some good crossbench people in the Senate and the lower house and uh, we'll hold the buggers to account. But, uh, thank you very much. great to get enough uh, on the cross bench where we have the balance of power and then we can block any bills that, uh, until we get the things that we want, uh, you know, which is, uh, you know, as I've outlined just then, you know, getting out of the United Nations for one, which is a corrupt organisation. Uh, we should never have been in it and uh, it's costing us money. Mr Shorten tells us he's going to give another $500 million of our taxpayers' money to that uh, corrupt organisation. And they're the ones who are controlling pretty much uh, the, the three parties right now. So if we could get some good people on the cross benches, uh, both in the upper and lower house, we can we can uh, hold them to ransom a bit and get the things done that uh, we believe most Australians want. One of the things is a bill that I put up a few months ago, and that is to give the Australian people a say in who comes to this country. Uh, and uh, right now, for 45 years, no one in this country has had a vote on who comes to the country and no one's had a say in it. And, uh, the governments don't like to uh, let the Australian people have a say in who, who their neighbours are going to be, but uh, this bill would uh, allow the Australian people to have a vote and say, you know, whether you want any more immigration or you want any more Muslim immigration particularly, which I think is a disaster for this country. Can you put a number on it though? Exactly how many seats do you expect to be? I, I could never expect to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that we get quite a few, but uh, no, I won't try and predict what the Australian people will do at the ballot box. Who is the True Blue crew? Uh, I think the True Blue crew are patriots who uh, believe in getting Australia back to uh, our original values, our good conservative Christian values. Um, they're decent Australian working people. People are paying the taxes for a lot of the people who are over here attacking us. Was the young man who uh, assaulted a journalist on Friday a member of the Tribune? I have no idea. Not, not, not to my knowledge, and I wasn't there at the time, but any other questions? Uh, you've since learned a bit more about that incident, I assume. What did you condemn it? I never had the case for any violence anywhere. Um, what I heard was that the cameraman and, uh, and a reporter 
chased him along trying to get some sort of a comment and he uh, had had enough and uh, uh, attacked the guy or, or hit him. But that's about all I know. What, 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 what is your take on that, that phrase? Only, only because obviously if you're getting uh, national headlines, um, your name was attached to that. What, what is, whether you were there or not, if it, it was, um, what is your take on that incident? Well, of course it got the headlines because it was uh, you know, something controversial and the left-wing media, that's all they'll look for, you know, out of this interview, you know, maybe we'll get six or seven seconds, but, um, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, I mean, I, I'd love to see the left-wing media one day uh, give an un unbiased report and let the Australian people um, make their own decision, and that's yeah, hardly yeah, likely yeah. when you've got a socialist media. You know, Confirmed but, um, he's not a member of TBC. That's right, and no, yeah, he's, he's uh, apparently he's not a member of... Uh, to Blue Crew, he's just a, an individual who may have gotten sick of somebody pushing a camera in his face. He reacted badly. Uh, he should have just kept on walking, or you know, gone and seen a police officer and got him away from him. But uh, you know, young people sometimes get a bit fiery.